Longtime owner of Arlington Park Racetrack, Dick Duchessois has died at the age of 100. As WGN's Ben Bradley reports, he was best known for his racetrack, but he was also a World War II veteran, philanthropist, and businessman who was born in Chicago's Beverly neighborhood. He was a member of the greatest generation, and like so many of his era, it was the war that shaped Dick Duchessois' life. He was only 20 at military school when he got the call. Mr. Duchess, while we have your resignation, I said, oh my God, what did I do? And they, they say, I must have said, your father just called. Congratulations, Lieutenant. He led a unit that was told they would be part of the first wave at Normandy. We had, uh, were lined up for, we thought, the D-Day. When we found out, well, we weren't going to be in on the initial, invade, our guys were disturbed. disturbed. We wanted to be there, yeah. We wanted to be there at the first crack. Lieutenant Duchess Watt led his troops onto Utah Beach days after the initial attack. At one point, he was shot and feared dead. He recovered and went back to the front, leading his company through the Battle of the Bulge and other assaults. He would earn both the Purple Heart and Bronze Star during his service, but he told our Julie Unruh in 2019, don't call him a hero. I had a job to do. I did the best I could. My men were well trained. I brought most of them home. Uh, a lot didn't get killed because we were trained, we had discipline, we had pride. And with all of that, it saved a lot of people. After the war, Duchess Watt worked for a rail car manufacturing company and began to build his business empire. Arlington Racetrack became its crown jewel. Here they come, spinning out of the Charnetti Committee. He would need the resilience he learned in the war when tragedy fell on the track in 1985. The horse racing heaven was reduced to rubble. There was a sudden eruption of flame, dense black smoke from the main grandstand, and the fire was again out of control. It was Dick Duchessois who made the decision to rebuild the track bigger and better. After selling to Churchill Downs, the property may now be sold again and reimagined as the new home of the Chicago Bears. Throughout Duchessois's life, giving back was a goal. It's one his children and grandchildren continue to practice to this day. Life lessons learned in a century of living. You learn the discipline. You learn you don't always win, but second place isn't good enough. So then you go back and try again. Ben Bradley, WGN News. Mm.